sight of God, in the presence of these witnesses, to join together this man, Reno, and this woman, Catherine, in holy matrimony. This is truly an occasion for joy and celebration, but let us remember that marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently and after much consideration. Into this holy estate, these two persons come now to be joined. Please join me in prayer. Dear Lord, Thank you for your enduring love for each of us and for giving the gift of love to Braino and Catherine. Today they come together to share that love with us and to dedicate that love to each other. We ask that you would join us now with your loving presence during this sacred wedding ceremony. We ask that you would bless this couple with your Holy Spirit and guide them daily throughout their life together. 
We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. So, I am reading from the Apostle Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 3, verses 12 through 15. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, close yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. <laughs> I'm going to speak for both of us <laughs> now, just as Beck does. So, uh, when Beck and I started out over 33 years ago, we could have only hoped for a daughter and for an occasion like this. To say now that we are thankful as the verse just ended, uh, just is too easy, you know, it's just too simple, too easy, because this occasion is built on so many prior occasions that were important and necessary to bring us to this point, and for which we're very thankful. Every time Katie went to school, or went out with friends, and came back safe, we were thankful. Every time she got sick and recovered, we were thankful. When she went off to Michigan to school, when she went to Spain to work as an au pair, when she went to Ukraine for the Peace Corps and the start a revolution, <laughs> <laughs> she returned safe and much richer for her experiences, and we were very thankful. So every time she's ventured out on the road in a car or into the skies in an airplane <laughs> and returned safe, we were thankful. So, to be thankful at this time after so many such occasions leaves us in a profound state of mind and spirit because we cannot possibly be thankful enough for the innumerable times that God has blessed us to arrive here and now. So in the same way, brano has been brought to this place at this time. Uh, none of us could have known it, but we've been praying for him long before we knew him. His pathway here is in some ways even more remarkable than Katie's because he's ventured to a foreign country. He's mastered a foreign language and a complex field of study. So now he's entered into a relationship with our daughter that from all that we can tell is mature, it's stable, and it's beautiful. And all this was done through the providence of God, and for that we're very thankful. Of course, his family had an immense role in bringing Brano here. We've only met his mother. She is delightful. She's adventuresome. And she's almost as adoring of Brano as Katie. <laughs> Um, we look forward to meeting the rest of his family and celebrating this marriage with the rest of them, somewhat larger family. In the near future, it's going to be on a larger scale, and it's going to be in Brazil. <laughs> we look forward to that. So finally, we're very thankful to all of you who have come here, our friends and family, for marking this occasion with us, especially Chris Hale for transforming this humble home. There she is. I actually can't see. There's Chris for transforming our humble home. And she did not do it single-handedly. She recruited Jerry. She recruited several other members of her family into this. We didn't know what a deal we were getting. It's been tremendous and a great gift. But each of you, Denise and Jim, each of you, <laughs> have uh, had a role in protecting Katie and raising her. 
uh, delivering her to this point. Some of these things we know about, some we don't. <laughs> <laughs> but for all of them, we're very grateful. So the, pas the passage from Colossians that Beck has just read uh, was not only the basis for the vows that she and I made to each other th over 33 years ago, but those three um, concluding words, and be thankful, now have a meaning that we could not have anticipated at the time. Thank you. <laughs> Reno and Catherine, if it is your intention to share with each other your laughter and your tears and all that the years will bring, then it is proper for you to acknowledge it in the presence of God and those assembled here today. Today I counsel you to consider thoughtfully the seriousness of the commitment you are making by your promises to one another that will bind you together as husband and wife, remaining undivided before all that comes your way. I counsel you both as well to always act with respect and compassion toward one another, sharing the spirit expressed in the book of Ephesians, similar to what your parents read from Colossians. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another. I would further charge you to understand and constantly strengthen the spiritual basis of your love, recognizing that it is the most precious of all God's gifts to you. My wife and I moved into this neighborhood when Katie was just nine years old. We got to know her and the Axelson family, mostly because of our, both of our families attended the Church of the Savior. We enjoyed seeing Katie and Brother Daniel grow up over the ensuing years. One fall day, there was a knock at our door, and there was Katie and Daniel, along with Lauren and Eric Shereen, and they asked me if they could rake my lawn and jump into the leaf pile. I said yes, and an hour later, all my leaves were raked and piled in the backyard. I think they're still there. <laughs> later, as Katie grew older and made the high school rowing team, we purchased our annual supply of mulch from her <laughs> to support the Conestoga rowers. Then she was off to my home state to attend the University of Michigan, where she met Braino. When Katie and Braino told me their story, I was impressed that their relationship had grown so much stronger during their two-year separation while Katie served in the Peace Corps in Ukraine. Now, they're back together again. Catherine and Braino, before God and this congregation, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter this covenant of marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Moreno, do you take Catherine to be your wife, and do you promise to love her faithfully as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, do you take Moreno to be your husband? And do you promise to love him faithfully as long as both you both shall live? Braino, repeat after me. I, Braino, take you, Catherine, to be my wife. I, Braino, take you, Catherine, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold for this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. In, six, in sickness and health to love and to cherish. And forsaking all others, keeping myself only unto you. And seeking all others and keeping myself only unto you. Till death do us part. Till death do us apart. <laughs> this is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Catherine, repeat after me. I, Catherine, take you Braino to be my husband. I, Catherine, take you Braino to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. And forsaking all others, keeping myself only unto you. And forsaking all others, keeping myself only unto you. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. <laughs> May I have the rings, please? Reno, you may place this ring on Catherine's finger, and as you do, repeat after me. 
Catherine, I give you this ring as a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. Catherine, I give you this ring as a <laughs> as a sign of our constant faith. As a sign, as a sign of, of our constant faith and abiding love. And abiding love. Catherine, this ring on Brano's finger and repeat after me. Brano, I give you this ring as a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. Brano, I give you this ring as a sign of our constant faith and abiding love. Those whom God has joined together, let no man set asunder. Please join me in prayer. Our living God, creator and preserver of us all, bless Brano that he might share his love, strength, and protection with Catherine, so that she might find in him character, patience, understanding, and faithfulness. Bless Catherine with tenderness and an inner beauty of soul that never fades, and a holding fast to those godlike qualities which make marriage right and beautiful. Teach them, Lord, not only to live for each other, but to live for you and for others. Give them a living faith, which also sends them into life with a purpose to do your will. Allow them enough tears to keep them tender, enough hurts to keep them human, enough failure to keep their hands firmly held in yours, and enough success to make them sure they walk with you. Lord, may they never take each other's love for granted. Bless them in their work, in their companionship, in their sleeping, and in their waking. We ask that you would bless them with children who would grow to be strong men and women of faith who would accomplish much in your name. Let your Holy Spirit be upon them to keep them faithful to each other and to you, that they may know the faithfulness of life as you intended for your human family. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Now by the authority vested in me, by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and the Holy Christian Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in just a moment, I will announce a new couple to you, and as they leave, I would ask you to stand and shower them with confetti and your blessing. <laughs> and after the wedding party departs, please stay here in this room for some refreshments and to greet the bride and groom when they return. Everybody ready? Ready? Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Braga. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.